Philippians chapter 3 Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concession, for we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. This is Paul speaking about himself before he was saved. He was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. And he says, verse 4, Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew, of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I might know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, I either, either were already perfect, but I follow after if, after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, Forgetting the things, those things, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore as many as be perfect be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where unto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same things. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an ensample. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, they that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mine earthly things. Can you think of any TV preachers that are in it for the money? They're out there, all kinds of them. And woman preachers are not even supposed to be women preachers. They're supposed to be silent in the church. Can we not get any discernment in this age we're living in? And verse 20, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. And there we have Philippians chapter 3. Paul speaks of those who are earthly minded, and he speaks of those here that are, our conversation is in heaven, not on the earth. Okay, and there we have Philippians chapter 3.